Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be making my third coding challenge and in this video I'm going to be making a calculator in React.js. So as you guys can see I have an empty project, the only thing I did was I removed everything inside of the src folder but the app.css, the app.js and the index.js. So if you guys want to follow along, this is basically how my project is structured for now. So I'm going to try to make this as fast as I can but I'm also going to be stopping to like explain some stuff. So yeah. Okay. First of all, we need a grid of like three by three. I'm thinking of doing something related to like kind of looking like the calculator from the iPhone, if you know what I mean. So let's just create like a, a something called numbers, like a, a verb, a, an array called numbers and make it equal to an array from every single number until nine. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to map through this array. So numbers, uh, numbers dot map, and I'm grabbing the value and the key, and I'm going to be drawing a div. So div and here, and in this div, I'm going to be basically just displaying the value. So for now, let's see how it looks. And yeah, it looks normal, normal. So let's wrap everything in a div called board. So class name, um, numbers, actually, let me just call it numbers. And let's see. Okay. And in the CSS, I'm going to be changing the numbers class here numbers to become a, like a stable 240 by 240 pixel uh, kind of like a wrapper so that I will use the flex property in CSS in order to make it fully responsive and make it fit perfectly if you know what I mean so I'm making it a width of 240 pixels by 240 pixels and for now, I'm going to be adding a background color just to see how it looks and to get like an idea. So currently we have this grid. I'm going to make everything like in the center. So display flex, um, justify content center. And I'm also going to align item center. So it's literally on the center of the screen. So inside of this numbers, we're going to make it a flex as well. So display flex, and we're also going to add a flex wrap so that it will basically just arrange everything in order. So we're going to access the div inside of it. So I'm going to call this um, number, no, individual number. I don't know if that's a good name, but yeah, I'm going to just copy it and save it. And let's see. Each number will be like I wanted to have I wanted to be a square of 80 by 80 but since I'm gonna be adding a, a border to it so we can like differentiate each other like each number I I'll need to make it 79 pixels by 79 pixels because like it's 240 in width and 240 in height so we need three on each column if you know what I mean and uh, like 240 divided by 3 is 80 However, each each square, so each number will have a border of one pixel. So instead of making it 80, probably we'll need to make it 78. So background crawler, and I'm gonna make it cornflower blue and width of 78 pixels and height of 78 pixels. Let's see if it works. Um, okay, it's kind of weird. Let me add a border of one pixel solid black. Okay, okay, it's working. So you can see we created a grid of three, like a three by three grid with every number. And also, I'm going to um, just display flex, because I want to align completely the numbers. So let's see it. Okay, now all numbers are aligned. And I want to make it clickable. I'm quite debating if I should like organize this perfectly because this is a React application. So normally I would just um, like create a component out of each number. But I'm thinking since I want I want this video to be quite fast, I'm not gonna do it. I think I'll just 
like create a div called with a class name called calculator. And this is just going to be a wrapper for everything. So let's see on top of the calculator, like on top of the numbers, there's a clear button. So let's add a div and give it an idea of um, clear button. And uh, what else we need, we need we need the clear button to be like, um, this size. And I th I'm thinking like adding the plus minus subtract dividing and multiplying buttons right here. Okay, yeah. Um, let me see. Um, I'm gonna be adding this here. So I'm gonna actually make a divide this into two. So calculator. Wait, let me think this through. This is going to be the left side. So let me divide this into two sides div class name, left side. And let me see, right side. Okay. Why do I need to divide it into two sides? Because I want it to be like, for example, over here, I want this to be the left side where there's the nine numbers and there's a clear button right here that takes up three of the squares. But on the right side, I want there to be the four like uh, operation num like uh, buttons, which has like an addition, a subtraction, a division, and a multiplication. So I'm basically gonna gonna make a like a wrapper, like a container div that's gonna contain everything inside of the calculator, which I already did. It's called the calculator div, and I'm gonna divide it into two. So this is one part, this is the left side and the buttons here are going to be the right side. So I created the left side and I'm going to be creating the right side. And okay, so the calculator will probably need to have a um, let me do it here. Calculator. It's probably gonna have a display flex as well. Wait, flex. And uh, the flex direction is going to be, I'm thinking a, a row, because it's going to be like, uh, side by side. And I'm going to make the left side be have a flex of like, mm, 240 pixels. And the right side is going to be like, let me see, right side right side. And the right side is going to be like 100 pixels. Let's see how this looks. Background color, this and then background color, green. Okay, this doesn't show anything because we didn't increase the size of the calculator with um, since this is 240. We want this to be 240 plus 80, which is 320, 320, right? So 320 and the height to be 320 as well, 320 pixels. So let me see. Okay, makes sense. You can see that now we have space. We just need to put this below because we're gonna have a, a, a button right here. But um, let me see, I'm gonna make Let's see, 240 divided by 320 is 75%. So we're going to add this to be 75%. And this is going to be 25%. And we're going to have to add a height as well. 100% and a height of 100%. Okay, so right now we don't we don't have the other buttons, but we're going to add them right now. So Let's see, this will probably be, we need to create a, another array called operations. And they're going to be strings. So plus, minus, um, multiplying, so, and dividing. And let's map this, so operations dot map, with the map and let's grab the value and the key and let's do the same thing. So return div 
with an ID of operation. And let's just show the value just like we did with the numbers. And actually, let's just organize operations similarly to how we did with individual numbers. I'm thinking just doing this. So operations. Okay. But why doesn't it work? Let me see. Did I say operation? Yeah, operations. Okay, so you can see that now they're like filling up correctly. But again, I want this to be below here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the the clear button right here. So let me just copy this and let me add this above the numbers. So this is going to be I'm doing the same thing. So but this is actually going to be the size of three. So 78 times three. Let's do it here. It's 234. 234 pixels. But this is the correct height. And yeah, let's see. Okay, what happened? I didn't add anything to the clear button. So let me just write here clear. Okay, but it's not taking up the correct size. And let's see why. Hmm. Is it? A, yeah, it's an ID. So that doesn't make sense. So um, let me change this. Okay, yeah, now it's working. There's a problem with the size I'm thinking because um, instead of this, it should be 238. Yeah, now it's correct. You can see that we have the clear button, all the other buttons, and I'm going to change the color right now because it's kind of irritating me. I'm thinking more of like the numbers. They're probably going to have a, a, a kind of light, but let me, let me say white smoke. I know this is a good color and the operations. I'm going to do it individually for the operations right here. So the operations, I want to give a background color of uh, crimson. It's a good color. Yeah. And the clear button, I'm going to make it black. So um, like black, let me see dark, there's a good color here. Um, no, let's, let's just make it black. Okay, and then the color inside of here is going to be white smoke. Yeah, okay. It's looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna try to add uh, now the, the, the display on top of here, let me just push everything down so that you guys can see it better margin top of 500 pixels. This is temporarily but wait 200 pixels, just so you guys can see it. Yeah, so I'm going to be adding the screen with the results up here. So um, let's do it here calculator um, div. And this will have a some this is going to be called um, operations no not operations uh, res what's happening right so um display and uh, let's make the display display it's going to be 240 pixels long so 240 pixels and uh, the height is going to be probably 80 pixels as well but remember, I'm going to be adding a, a border to it. So um, border one pixel solid and black. So I'm going to be changing this to 238 to see if it works and this to 78 to see if it works. Um, currently, it won't show anything because first of all, we didn't change the color, I'm going to put this bright green. And also, we didn't increase the size of the calculator. So currently, it's 320 pixels, we're going to add 80 to that. So it's going to be 400. And now everything is on the bottom, which is not what I want. So let me see why this is happening. Is it because um, display left side, right side, it should be working. Um, let me make this something smaller. So 70 so I can see what it, if there's something here. 
So let me inspect. Oh, okay, I get the problem. Basically, I'm not. I didn't change this to buttons. So this should be 330 20 pixels. Now it's working. So we we can make this larger. So this play should be again 240, 238. Um, a little bit more than this. So 80 plus. So it's 328. No, 318. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So now it's working. I'm just gonna change the background color to like gray light gray actually let's see if it looks good I don't I don't like it that much so light blue um, light steel blue okay I kind of like it that, like this so yeah I think it's okay so let me change this to be empty Okay, so what do we need to do now? We need to add all functionalities to it. So we're gonna be making all of this have on-click methods, and we're going to be dealing everything. We're gonna be dealing with this over here. So let's create a function called. Um, uh, let me see. Now, uh, click numbers, and this is probably gonna take a value, and which is gonna be the number and we're gonna have the const we're gonna use state so um let's make it current current operation and set current this is this is basically going to be like what we're currently doing what we're, what we're currently trying to add so for example in normal calculators, when you want to add a number, you don't, you don't just write the number, you click like one, two, three, four, five, plus uh, two, one, three, you know, so this is going to hold the number that is currently here. So use state. And this is actually going to be a string. So and I'm going to explain why. Um, because like, since we're not going to add the numbers, like when we click here, we don't add one plus seven immediately. We just append seven after one. So the only way we can do this is with strings. So currently we're gonna set current operation to uh, the current operation plus the value, right? So this should make sense. I'm going to add this click numbers on the on every single div that we output here. So on click, and this should work. So click numbers vol. Let's see if it works. Okay, React too many re-renders. Let's see why. Maybe because we should do this um, here. Let's see if it works. It works. So for now, let's just console log the number. Dot log. And we're gonna transform the string into a number. So current operation. Let's see if it works. Mm. So when we click here, you can see that we're kind of adding. Wait, let me restart this. So we're first going to we're, we're first going to click in the actually current I'm going to console log this I'm going to create a use state hook so use effect hook because it's gonna I want I want this to output whenever it renders so let me just copy this and put it here okay so and let me just make this whenever call this whenever current operation changes okay hmm here Okay, so currently there's nothing in the screen and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click one. So you can see now it's one and now if I click three, it's gonna be 13. Yes, it's working and then nine and then seven. Yeah, it's working. So this is how we're gonna, this is how we're gonna deal with the numbers. And now we just need to add the functionalities for the other operation, the other buttons. So we're gonna use, create another function called um, click operation and let's see if and we're going to create a use state actually we're going to const um 
if I call this operation, then how, what am I going to call this? So current, I'm just going to call this operation and set operation. I don't want to get you guys confused, but this is basically, this is holding the number that we're currently adding. And this is just holding the thing like the, what operation we're doing. So use state and this is definitely going to be a string. So let's see, set current operation. No, set operation equal to the value that we're going to grab from the button. So let's add an on click method to the button to the operation button. So here, and instead of click numbers, we're going to put a click operation. So let's see if it works. And um, let's see, we're also going to console effect the number plus a space plus operation. Let's see if it works. So currently we have this, we have nothing, we have a zero. If we click a one, we have a one, if we have 13, we can click on here. And it's not working. Let's see why. Oh, it worked. Wait, if I click here, it's changing, but it's not updating whenever I click it, you can see that you can see it right here. It's it's registering. But let me see what happened. Mm. Okay, click operation, value. And oh, okay, we're not calling the use effect hook whenever it's changing. So operation. Okay, let's see it again. Um, inspect console 32 plus 65. Okay, so I just realized we need to set to th this to a like this two numbers. So the first number we're adding, and the second number separately. So this I'm going to change to instead of current operation, I'm going to call it first number, it makes more sense. So set first number. And uh, let me see it. Um, instead of first operation, I'm going to call, call it first number. And let me change everything here. So instead of set current operation is going to be set first number. And this is going to be first number, let's see if it works, or if it breaks. So one, three, yeah, it's still working. Great. So now we're going to create another state called second number. And if we're going to basically change this to if um, operation equals null, like if, if operation equals this, which is what we, we set first, then we're this we're just gonna set the first number, else we're gonna set the second number. So set second. Oh, I didn't change this. So second number and set second number. So um set second number equal to second number plus value, right. So let's see. And also let's add this to the use effect cycle. So let's see here. So first, one, two, let's add 12 plus 32. Okay, what happened? Hmm. Let's see, seven times three. Okay, for some reason, it's still adding the, the same number. So Oh, okay, we oh, okay, we're not adding the second number. So let's add second number. Okay, so one times three, it's working. So you can see that now our calculator is kind of working, we can, we can kind of see the results here, not, not the result where we, we can see the operation occurring. And let's set it so that whenever we, we want to see the result, um, we just need to click a button. Honestly, I'm thinking of removing the clear button and just create making it the like the see results button. And I think it will be like better for now. So see result because I don't want this video to be very large. So see 
result. I meant like very long. Um, okay, I need to change the the ID in the app.css. So here, okay, see result. And when I click here, I just want to output the operation. So app.js and function perform operation. And what I'm going to grab is actually nothing. I just want to, I'm going to use a state. So return, um, I'm going to create a, a use state called result const result um, and set result and use state equals to a number, right? So I want it to be a number instead of a string because I'm going to convert all strings into numbers in this function. So we should be okay with that. So if we want to perform an operation, we'll just set result equal to, um, I'm going to create a, a switch case, actually. So the reason why is I want to I want to check what operation we're dealing with. So switch um, operation and case, if the if, if the operation is equal to um, plus, then we want to set result equals to, equal to the first number. And we're going to convert it to number. So we need to put the number first. So first number. Um, then plus number second number. Okay, I hope this makes sense, right? So we're going to create a switch case to see to check for every single case, right? So there's four cases, there's four switch cases, and I also forgot to put a break. So that's why this is kind of weird. So break and break, right? So break and break again. So let's see, it makes sense, right? So instead of plus, this is going to be a minus, this is going to be a, a, a multiplication, this is going to be a division. And uh, let's perform operation whenever we click the C results bullet button. So on click, perform operation. We didn't even need to click well, actually, let's change this. So instead of doing it like this, we're going to make this, uh, we're going to transform this into ES six. So or just do it like this. Yeah. Okay, so um, and also, we're going to change the use effect, right? So like, instead of just seeing this, for now, we're just going to see the results. So let's remove all of this and change this to just update the, the, the cycle, just re render whenever we have a different result. So console log results. Let's see. So first, we grab the first number one, plus two, and we want to see the results. It's three, it works. Let's update and let's multiply nine times nine and see results. Hmm. Okay, let's see what happened. I nine divided by three. Twelve. It's adding. For some reason it's always adding, right? So hmm. Let's see why. Oh, okay, I didn't change I didn't <laughs> I didn't change the, the case. So the switch case. So in multiplication, we're going to multiply, we're going to divide, let's check again. So and also, I'm going to add a, a hover to every like everything inside of here. So everything inside of the calculator, is going to be a uh, I'm going to change the cursor. So hover, I'm going to make the cursor a pointer just to like, make it a more appealing, right? So when I press seven, minus three, it should be four, it works. And let's multiply. So uh, nine times five. Yeah. So as you guys can see, it kind of works. So I'm just going to finally like add the res like display the result in the top div, and we'll be done with this tutorial. So see results. So inside of the display, I'm just going to change this to the result. So let's see. Um, 
also I'm gonna kind of style the display so it's already here so display flex wait display flex um, align item center justify content center okay so one plus six equals seven yeah and for now I'm thinking I'm thinking this looks kind of good maybe we can add more stuff to it like maybe we can see what what buttons we're clicking but I feel like I'm happy with what we did for now I don't know if this video took like a lot of time to to complete but I hope it, I kept it short and remember the source code is going to be in the description and please leave a comment below telling me what projects you guys want to see uh, this is the third video on the series but I'm going to be making a lot of a lot more of them so please leave a comment so I can know what you guys want to see. So yeah, have a nice day.